From seafood to exploring the 1940s, there's no shortage of events to check out this weekend in the Tri-State. We team up with CDB every week to bring you a look at the top things to do. Kenneth Wright joins us to talk about those uh, inland seafood, which yes. is a little oxymoron. It's a little oxymoron, but yes, an inland seafood festival is going to be taking place all weekend long down at Newport on the Levee on Riverboat Row. It's supposed to be amazing. They have everything from oysters, salmon. They even have live main lobsters being flown in. They have over 15 food vendors of national and local chains, so... If you want to get your seafood fixed for the end of the season, go to it. You went straight to my heart on that one. I know. Main lobsters. Main lobsters. I, know. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I try. Uh, Northern, I try. Northern Kentucky. Yes. Getting a great place, Chicago. Yes, Chicago is right now going on at the Carnegie Arts Center. It's an amazing, beautiful theater. If you have not been, please take this opportunity to go check it out. Chicago, everyone knows the story, the 2002 movie. It's going to be fantastic. So if you haven't been to the Carnegie, please do so. It's one of our city's little little treasures. So. Please go see it. And that's a show worth seeing. It really it is. It really is. It's one. fun for the whole family. And uh, the Museum Center is always putting on something new, 1940s. Yeah, yeah. It, like, if you don't already feel nostalgic when you walk yeah. into the Museum Center, this whole weekend is 1940s centric. There's 1940s cars. There's beauty and hair shows. There's, I mean, it's there's World War II memorabilia, some old weapons. It's going to be unbelievable all weekend long, and that's through Sunday evening. So... Take the family and get a step back in time. Love that opportunity. Yeah. All right, That's at nice. the Museum Center, Kenneth Wright from City Beat. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. You can always find the top nine things to do at WCPO.com.